An undercover 2 News investigation prompted by concerns raised by the Tulsa Humane Society. 2 News investigator Marla Carter is in to tell us what her investigation uncovered. Marla? Well, Russ and Karen, you've heard of house flipping. It's getting a house on the cheap and fixing it up and then selling it for a profit. We found a version of that called dog flipping. And the dogs may not be what they seem. This is Nala. And this is Amy. We're going undercover to see a dog. A dog we found on Craigslist. Do they have papers or no? We responded to an ad for dogs and puppies and met this woman who called herself Alyssa and told us she worked for Gabby Lott and they were part of a pet rescue called Paws. Um, we do a lot of rescues. We watch Craigslist to make sure that all of the animals are getting taken care of. Alyssa yeah. said they get the dogs, give them shots, and then sell them through Craigslist. So the organization is that who um, is getting the fee or? Yes. Okay. It's not, it's not me. Alyssa also told us the $120 that Paws was charging for this pair of dogs all goes back to the charity. The two news investigators went digging. The same phone number as Gabby Lott, the woman Alyssa worked for, showed up half a dozen times or more when we searched for puppies on Craigslist. Ads for Red Healer, Pit and Hound Pups. The ad said the dogs had their shots and had been dewormed. That's what Alyssa told our undercover crew, too. They have been given their shots. They are fully, they are fully um, warned. Okay, you're going to teach all your babies how to... Rebecca talk. Smith rescues pups herself. She rescued this dog, Tyga, a couple of months ago, and Tyga had puppies. Smith put the puppies on Craigslist and got a response right away. Yeah, I was so happy. Smith says the woman who showed up to get the dogs was Gabby Lott. That's who this woman, who called herself Alyssa, says she works for. Two hours after Lot took the puppies, Smith says at least one of the dogs was for sale on Craigslist. At first I thought, well, maybe the puppy didn't work out, but it's like, how can a dog not work out within two hours? Getting dogs free or cheap and then selling them for a profit is called dog flipping, and it's perfectly legal. But you should check out the seller and the claims in the ad before buying a dog or pet online. We checked out the Paws charity, where we found no record. And we also checked out some of Alyssa's other claims. I'm a vet, ed, vet assistant. Who do you work for? Um, Banfield. That didn't check out either. We called the vet, Banfield, and she doesn't work at any of their locations. We asked Lot for an on-camera interview, but she declined. So we decided to pay her a visit. Gabby, this is Marla with Channel 2. We noticed nine dogs in her front yard. City ordinance only allows for three. Lot didn't answer the door, but did peek out the window to look at our camera. Turns out Gabby Lot and Alyssa are the same person. While Gabby Lot didn't answer the door, she did talk to us by phone, denying dog flipping, and told us the so-called charity she said the money is going to is not set up yet. But she says she's working on it. And remember this claim? Um, they have been given their shots. When we asked for the shot and vet record, she declined to provide them to 2 News. The Humane Society says that's not a good sign. You need to be very, very cautious. Their advice? If you're placing a dog or if you're looking to adopt a dog, that you'd be very, very careful on Craigslist. And we're really appreciative to Channel 2 for trying to get the word out there. Now that you've seen our story, what do you think? Let me know. We've been chatting about it on Facebook and Twitter. In fact, I've been live tweeting this evening and will be through the rest of the newscast. So join in on the conversation. Marla Carter, KJRH, hashtag two investigations. Russ and Karen.